We are now back inside the temple of P. Pyrrhari. Fire. Jerry's castle. Jerry? Nobody likes Jerry. But yeah. We're inside the temple dungeon area. It's uh, already off the bat sort of indicator of the type of puzzles we're going to run into in this dungeon. With these, uh, whatever these are. Just walk, just barrel walk. Walk them? Barrel walking! Walking the barrel. Log. And unfortunately, every treasure chest in this dungeon is marred by these fuckers. Yeah, every time uh, you bump into a these are mandatory battles for every time you bump into one of these treasure chests. Magma lid, I'd say? Magma tiki. Tiki. I don't know why I thought I saw a lid. Anyway, magma tiki. They are red magic enemies, which means they are fairly susceptible to purple magic. So, it's best to have at least one Crystallis box before coming in here, or learning the Crystallis spell. Tremble. You can learn Crystalli, but it doesn't really... But Crystallis is a lot stronger and will get rid of them in one strike. So, best to have the Crystallis box, Crystallis box uh, handy at all times. You also want to guard whenever they do Tremble, because they will immediately follow it up next turn with this move. Ow. Which isn't necessarily all that damaging if you're not uh, <clears throat> guarding against it. But it is one of those cases where you really just don't want to be hit anymore. Because uh, it hurts. I will admit that for most of my time fighting these things, every time I come across them, even though I end up cutting it out after this point regardless of how mandatory they are for each time you bump into a treasure chest. I just figured they're kind of wasting a lot of time. But yeah, uh, I don't really suss dealing with these things <laughs> until far later into the dungeon. And since you're not going to see that, I just thought I'd fair warn you. I. I these uh, battles take up probably a lot more time than they should. They're annoying. Yeah. If nothing else. Mm. Especially since you have to do them every time you want to open these damn treasure chests. You know what the worst part about it is, is I keep not taking advantage of Fina's special attack in this dungeon. Like, she has that Lunar Blessing, which I could be using to really help myself out, especially during the upcoming boss fight, which unfortunately I couldn't actually fit into this part, oh. because this dungeon is that long. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh... To let you know, this uh, probably took an entire recording session in and of itself. Halfways because I just was such a big dumb fuck up, and partly because I think I had to go to the bathroom at the time. A whole lot of walking. And Ladder. Ladders. Ladder. And that annoying sound of the thing that cannot be reached at this moment. You better reach it. You better yeah, get we'll, we'll you get better it. get everything you can before you leave this place. Yeah, I do. This is one of the places you can't uh, come back to. This no, you can. This place isn't locked out, but it is annoying to go through nonetheless. Death's head, a variant of that. Uh, Mind stealer in a movie Death's saw in Alua. Death's head. Death's head. Like that thing that I can't remember what it is. I, never mind. Yeah. 
And more Dural Beetles. Yeah, they knew Drone. That's unfortunate. Go slow things down. Go to, no, nope. never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, but they know this move too. Summon an extra Dural. Oh, uh, the party is getting bigger. You keep calling friends. It's so fun. <sighs> Thanks. Well, that sucks. For you. you gonna use a box? I don't know what I'm do. gonna use. I wasn't thinking clearly when I did this part. Do clearly. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, a red spell. That's gonna work against enemies in a red dungeon. Oh, and they know sleep too. Oh man. <laughs> it hit two of them, and then he immediately woke him up. Get me strength. Fine. Eat fire. Oh, that actually. I actually did some damage. Not much. Here we go again. Go the fuck to sleep! Shit. Damn it. <laughs> and their sleeping animation is basically them just slumped over. Like... As if they were really hurting, except instead of just... Instead, they just fell asleep. Like, I'm gonna take a nap in the middle of this... Oh, we won the battle! Yes! Yeah. Because <laughs> that wakes him up. Oh, God. Oh, da, no! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 the boulder's da, gone. Da, da, da. The boulder is gone. Da, 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 da. Nick. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. There we go. Moonfish was caught. You got it. Oh, is that the same one we were hearing earlier? Yeah. <clears throat> it's the only way to get it. Yeah. So and then a very here, specific angle. We get an ancient robe. <clears throat> uh, that to Fina. Uh, Fina, you can put on these. Uh, you, you can put. You can put on these ancient little manky robes. And just watch. No. Yeah. No. Well, not that anyone's clothes change in this game at any point ever. No. Which. You know what? I actually kind of consider unfortunate. But, for a very odd case, that you may find rather questionable. But anyway. Well, believe it or not, one of the only reasons I actually like a few certain RPGs, despite all the problems I have with them, is, is that you can actually change their outfits. Yes! And I... Which game was it? Radiata Stories, actually. All the outfits in the game... Wait, you can do that in Radiata Stories? Yeah. All the oh, outfits... I was thinking of... What was it? Rogue Galaxy. That too. I think. Or was it only very specific outfits in Rogue Galaxy? You can do that in uh, Tales of Symphonia. Certain titles, but... You're required to have certain titles that don't give you any benefits. It's just that in the case of Radiata Stories, it was like, you, you know, it was every armor had a different appearance. Huh. Can't say I'm really looking forward to that. No, I am not either. I did like it, like the game back in the day, perhaps because I had shit taste. 
But uh, afterwards, I don't, I don't know how much I actually like the game anymore. Ooh, new weapon, dancing arc. But then again, I play lots of Fallout, so maybe my tastes are still shit. Well, the fact that you were dumb enough to go out of your way for for all of the PlayStation 2 RPGs that we could think of from that generation. Yeah, all the bad ones. <laughs> well, there are some gems in there, I'm pretty sure. At least one's better than, you know, certain other ones, you know, like Dark Cloud. You know what's a real gem? Not Dark Cloud. Orphan. That's not an RPG. That barely qualifies as a game. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm thinking we should probably just do that at some point. Like, just pick up, play Orphan, say, what the hell was this? And be done with it. Well, specifically, Orphan, uh, what is this? Sk Scion of Sorcery? I don't know how it's. Skion, Skion, Skion of sorcery. Skynet. Yeah, the point is, we can. I picked that fucking game up from nerd store for a few dollars, just so I could play it. And I'm just like, why the heck did we ever play this game? It's a good game. And no. Quality. No. Amazing story. Fantastic graphics. Quentin Flynn. Great cutscenes. Quentin Flynn. <laughs> and no, the unfortunate thing is he only played Orphan in the game. He doesn't actually... He didn't actually play him during the actual dub of the series, from what I know. But then I've never seen the dub of the series, and I honestly am not very inclined to care about the dub of Orphan. Yeah, well, if it's anything because... like the game. Well, the game is our first exposure to that particular universe. Da, 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 and it's quite da, a da, 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 no. da, 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 ah. Moonberry. It, it's not a very good game, so it doesn't encourage that it is a very good series. Get out of here, Boulder. Then again, I'm not my friend. I'm just not that interested in anime anymore. Not very interested in many new things. Period. Actually, I never have been. It's something that's always been rather detrimental part of my personality. Is I just don't like new things. It's like every time we're introduced to some new thing in my life, I'm just like. This doesn't sound good. This could go horribly bad. This doesn't sound good. And then, you know, occasionally I'll have myself a, oh well, that was that 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 was actually good, and I was wrong, and I'm thankful for that. And then sometimes I'm just like, well, what did you expect, dumbass? Yeah, I'm a living pessimist. Same here, man. But you know, maybe not as much. <laughs> maybe not. Well. You know, not great salamanders. I don't think salamanders do anything. You're the most pessimistic person on the face of the earth. Good. Uh, better that than a than a mindless optimist. He's also got these red loopers. I don't know if I showed these off earlier. Salamanders, um. I don't know if they do anything, because they easy. die so very quickly. I can look them up, but uh, the point is... They're uh, rather useless. And uh, I think you were right, because we're in a chamber full of fucking lava here! Oh, yes. Which means there's lava under the ground. No need to, uh, worry about setting on fire or anything, or... Convection schmenvection. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just a little bit of, uh, I, well, I would say it's like red Kool-Aid, but it, uh, it, uh, looks like, um... It kind of looks like legit magma. Lava magma. 
Lagma. This is Dreamcast era, not PlayStation 1 era. Where does that water come from? Where, what, how is that water here? That would, the water would indicate to me that there's some sort of reservoir here somewhere. How does there exist a water reservoir in this place full of lavga? Mag... Mag... Okay, I don't know what happened there. There's a battle. Oh! And then you... uh, oh. Uh, loopers? Okay, uh, any form of looper, any different... It's the brace looper. Have a relative chance of dropping a black map item. Black map... Black Mac. Black Mac. Black Mac. Black Mac. Black Black Mac. Black Black Mac. Black Mac. Big Mac. Yeah. Oh. Oh dear. The villain Bane. Okay. This is a something of a side quest to pursue throughout the course of the game. Is that there will be certain treasure chests guarded by the villain Banes. Bane. And. uh... You know, they can be fairly tough adversaries. I was born Their purpose is usually just to guard very high-level treasures. And if you go out of your way Ooh. to beat all of them and collect all of the Zivilin Bane treasures... You merely adopted the Red Moon stone um, thing. Blech. Actually, I'm not... Oh, God. That's just like some throwing explosive. That wasn't... That was... Pretty nasty, and she was guarding against that. Diddly. So, uh, yeah. Uh, don't take these guys for granted. They are actually a lot tougher than they might seem up front, even though there's a good number of them. They'll spend a lot of time not Let's dying, trying not to die. You know. Yeah. But if you had not avoided any battles up until this point. You should be fine. And... Damn. He's red element, so Crystallis does say number on him. Ow. <laughs> a cupel now turns into a cone. Not a drill, a cone. He literally called Cupa Cone. <laughs> that is the greatest geometric shape you could turn into to actually do harm. And he's kaput. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, once again. Like and once you've tried, uh, yeah, basically, uh, defeat the villain Bane, she'll usually get some uh, treasure that you can sell for a lot of uh, loads of money. Loads of money, and that won't really be all it's good for. It's just selling off her money. And they'll also tend to drop seeds. I can't remember exactly what Paranto Seed uh, does, but usually those things are basically for ingesting to increase your stats. And you always, always give them to Vice, since Vice is the character that you always want with high stats. Because, you know, you don't want him to die, because he's important. Well, the, the game won't be over with him gone, like it does with, say certain other RPGs, but since he's going to be your main fighter of the group, it's best to just give him all of the higher stats. He never leaves the group. Well, except for that time that you're just, uh, never mind. Does that be a spoiler? I don't want to spoil anymore. I've already spoiled plenty. There's one time where he's not in your group. <laughs> Wonder why that would be. I'm sure we'll figure out as the game goes along. Oh, this is a puzzle, isn't it? Uh, it's not. It's, uh, it's simple, but you know, it's. Uh, it's just it does. It, it it does give you pause to think, but all in all, it's uh, not the most brain taxing of things to accomplish in this game. Uh, no, it's uh. 
And once all that's place, done, the, uh, oh god. The lava magma is rising! That's, is that a good thing? Actually, now that I think about it, there is one positive aspect to rising the magma here. If we just go back around to that switch we saw before. You know the one? The one that flooded the area with water? You know, I don't know why we were so dumb the first time we played this. But it, we, we, we come to this spot, and we keep pressing that button, expecting something to happen without thinking of going anywhere else. And where, where's the noise? Where's the noise? There it is. You got it. In the end, you gotta make sure you get everything. Got him! You gotta make sure you get everything in here, because you can't come back here again. You can. I told you this before. I, I, I can? Yeah. I don't know. You can, you can come back here. I this thought, place isn't locked out. I, I, okay. I, I, I figured this was one of them that was locked out, but you know. Nope. This place isn't locked out. But, uh, anyway. I think, uh... Shows what I know. That does it for this episode of Let's Play... Shows my attention. Skies man. of Arcadia Legends. We will be back next time to deal with the boss of this area. Next time. So, RCFS, and see you then. Bye-bye. I really have to pee.